Trolling is one of the easier methods to locating and catching walleye in a river system. It enables you to cover a lot of water in the shortest amount of time. Here Dan and Bob or Annie are entering some water they've never fished before. All right, folks, we're going to be fishing a stretch of river between uh, one lake and another opening. And it's really fast in there, and the, the walleyes won't hit in the lake. They're just tough. So we're going to troll the river section between the two open bodies of water. And what we're going to use, because it's still in June, we're going to use light-colored lures. If it was later in the year, we'd go to blacks and browns. But right now, we're using a nasty crab jig like this here with a spinner on top of it. And we're using a yellow five-a-diamond spoon. And surprisingly, here's a tip for you that you might be interested in. Even on the spoon, we find that tipping it with a little piece of crawler helps. It really does. Now, you may think I'm crazy, but even on that spoon, that will help. But those two lures are it. We're going to go up here and really try and take a great big one. Just caught a sauger. How about that? Yeah, in the, how about that? Uh, he didn't fight very hard, so I... Oh, I'll be darned. Old saw guy. I didn't think we had too many of them in this river, but they're here. How about that? And that one, like, what were you using? Oh, a jig? Yeah, yeah I was trolling a jig. You know, folks, when you fish rivers that are, and you're having a hard time in the lakes catching uh, walleyes or saugers, uh, there's a method that we use on rivers that really works. We troll upstream in the faster water, the shallower water, where there's a lot of humps and bumps in the bottom. And these walleyes hold in that faster waters, as do the saugers. And you troll up, and you bring your lures up over them. Jigs with spinners and spoons. Troll spoons upstream will really work for you. You, know, you try that next time you're out there. And uh, this little fella, he's, he's not too big, but he's a sauger, and he, they never get too big. When you troll upstream, you want to troll just fast enough to gain on the current. I usually judge it about one mile an hour faster than current flow coming at me. What I look for on the graph is the rocks on the bottom and the ledges where the river narrows together, comes together, the sides of the river, you look for the hump that's created at that point. So your bottom structure is always very important and you look to the deep side of the structure as you go upstream. That's where the fish will hold. And as you go upstream, watch for the structure on the shoreline. Whatever you see on the shoreline will ascend down into the river bottom. So if you've got a point to one side or the other, generally that structure will also go out into the river on the bottom. And it'll be just downstream from that oh, rocky point under again. the water that you find the walleye. <laughs> oh my. Here we go. There's another walleye for that. Now this can be done downstream also, this trolling downstream, but you've got to use a shorter line than you do. You use a long line trolling upstream and a short line trolling downstream. And the reason for that is, of course, getting snagged. You have to worry about getting snagged. Now we're coming down through that cut where we've been catching all the walleyes on the upstream troll. We've only taken one downstream, and that's typical of early in the season. But later on in the season, you'll catch more fish going downstream with the jig or the spoon. And you gotta keep your motor going just a little bit faster than the current. If you know we're traveling pretty good, but fish will take it even so. What is this current at here now, do you think? No, this is about a, about a three mile an hour current here. That's not too stiff, that's not too fast, huh? Uh -huh. Watch, like how, you know, oh, as the lure comes over the top of yeah. them in the current like that, and they hold in behind rocks, you know, probably only two to three feet. So you've got to be within two or three feet of the fish with your lure uh, for him to see it and attack it. Is that all? That's two all. Two three feet? That's yeah. a lot of cast to cover all that ground. Yeah, that's right. Oh. And a lot of fishermen don't make enough cast when they work a river or a lake. A lake is a little easier. In a river, you've got to get down on the fish. Yeah. Fish on. There he is, right there. Got him. Got him. There we go, Ann. Yeah. Got another one. I better turn this off and drift down. You get the net, and you can... Huh. What, huh? What, huh? Something got my little piece of crawler anyway. Did it? Yeah, but... Uh -huh. Oh. 
Oh, that's a good fish too. He's going. You might as well take him on the other side. He's running over there. Are you ready? All right. There the girl. I tell you folks, this trolling, whenever you got Rocky River like we have here, and they're not biting in the lake, I want you to try this. It really works well. You'll catch some walleyes when you don't expect to. We got high noon today. And even so, when we got seven to eight feet of water in the, some of the deep parts, drops to 11, comes back up to seven or eight. But they're hanging right in there. Look at this. That's nice, huh? Yeah, isn't he a nice fish? Yeah. That's dinner. Whoops. Oh, he Not went. Anymore. <laughs> Not anymore dinner, folks. She put, she put my fish back in the lake. I'm sorry. <laughs> we got, we'll get another one. Okay. <laughs> I've got a tip for you. Next time you, next time you go out and you go to tip jigs, this is how you do it. Take your night crawler, and instead of using the whole night crawler, all I want you to do is just cut a piece of them, about that much, right there. Then you save the rest of it and you cut that in little pieces. And when you tip your jig, you tip them right here like this. Just with that much, that's all you need. You just need scent on there. Now when you tip a jig with a leech, Always run the hook through his suction cup. See that right there? You run it through his suction cup and out his back, just like that. Now he'll stay on, he won't come off. And by the way, as long as we're talking about walleyes and jigs and fishing jigs, I got a nasty crab there and there's an ugly bug with a leech on it. Often when you troll it, if you troll a jig by putting a jig spinner on it, it en enhances the ability of the, of the jig to catch fish. So next time you're out there, remember that tip on fishing. You might catch a nice walleye like that.